Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video about the Wiesmann car motion. Uh, just a quick go through the functions and how it works and how you make use of them. So it is quite new to the UK, but we have it in stock now. We have lots of vehicles and more coming. Um, this is just for setting the speed, if the indicators are on, the lights on and everything else. Um, so this is <clears throat> just the remote control. It works via infrared, like your TV remote. So it's infrared, so that means in line of sight of the infrared unit it's talking to. So on the front of the vehicles, there is infrared receivers built into the vehicle. Um, they are just under the bumper. I don't know if you can see them, but they, they are just under there. Okay, so that's what receives the commands when you use the handset direct in line of sight of the vehicle. Okay, so here is the vehicle and here's the handset. So when you take it out of the, um, the box, when you receive it, um, you either can use the infrared remote or you can use this pencil just to start the vehicle. In the top of the cab is a uh, switch that the magnet either on here or on here activates to, to turn the vehicle on. That's all it does is turns the vehicle on. So if we do that, the vehicle now comes on, okay? And it drives off, okay? The flashing lights are on and the headlights are on. So the vehicle is now active and driving, and if it sees any other vehicles, it will respond to what those other vehicles are doing, okay? And as you can see, it's driving. If you wish to control the vehicle, speed it up, you have to be in line of sight of the front of the vehicle, and then you can press the plus button, which speeds it up, and as you can see, it's accelerating, and the vehicle's off, okay? Now, it's always linear in line of sight. So as he comes around the corner, I can slow it down. You see it's slowing. Now, because he's now no longer in line of sight, if I sp speed up or slow down, nothing will happen. You have to be in line of sight of the vehicle. So again, we're in line of sight and the vehicle continues to drive. Okay. So line of sight again. The vehicle stops because I pressed it right down till it stopped. So if I press plus once, it speeds up to 10 kilometers an hour. Press minus and it stops. On here, there's also this uh, like um, reversing arrow. If I hold that down, the reverse lights come on and it drives backwards. Look, release and it stops. Now you can either press plus to drive it forward or just hit play. If you hit play, it goes to the default setting, the slowest setting of the vehicle. So we speed it up and off it goes. Okay. On here, you can also put the indicators on by using these two arrows. Um, you can press zero, the lights go off. If you press one, full beam and dip. Press two, the flashing beacons go off and so on and so forth. It's all very easy, all in the instructions laid out for that. So you can see it working. So what happens, you say, if you have two vehicles? Okay, so we put a second vehicle on the road, we turn it on, the vehicle's on. Now, as you can see, it's not driven off. So the last time I used it, it was not driving when I stopped it. So it was already in the stop direction. But when the vehicle comes up behind it, it will see it. Because also in the back of the vehicle, there is infrared transmitting, I am here. So this one receives that and says, okay, I can't drive on because there's a vehicle in front of me. If I was to remove that, after a few seconds, the vehicle drives off again. So if I place this vehicle ahead of it again, as he comes along, he stops. So everything's built into the vehicle, so they talk within themselves, okay? So if I speed it up, the front one, this waits a few seconds. Now they're going different speeds. If I want to just speed up the rear one, I can speed it up, but it looks to see what's happening ahead. So it slows down and mirrors and matches the speed, the cruise speed of the vehicle ahead of it. So this is just a basic overview of the car system and how it works.
but don't forget it's in line of sight so if i speed up the front one you've seen it speed up then the rear one will speed up to the maximum speed you last set it this is how it works if i slow and stop the vehicle so he stops the one behind will stop if i turn the power button here off it will turn this one off and then it tells the other one to turn off you can't use this power button to turn them back on you must use the magnet and then drive off again and then you can just leave them to merrily go along their way at the speed you wish that individual vehicle to work at this is how it works